And so we're, we're back. Another game five, huh? Yeah, we're back, man, with the Modern Warfare 2 Online Pro Circuit Live brought to you by Sony PlayStation 3. These guys are playing on the PlayStation 3 tonight, free of charge. It's been a huge matchup, Hastro. Last time we were doing it in the booth together, we, we went to a game five that ended up being an epic game five search and destroy. And with the way this match has been going back and forth with the momentum, I think search and destroy high rise, we can expect the same thing. Yeah, this is going to be, I, I have a feeling, man, it's going to come down to it again. You know, it just, it just feels like every time we're live, we're going to an epic game, man. Every game five. You couldn't always, write it, man. You could not write it either. I don't that, that first one was insane. But, you know, let's see what happens here. I, I'm, I'm thinking that Rush might be able to, to come through with this one. I, I, I don't know. It seems like Influence had the upper hand. Momentum switched again last round. But I'm going to kind of go with Rush on this. I, I don't know. What's your pick? I don't know your your pick was first. Before All I, right, I so I, I'm kind of rag, ragging my brain around over here, but I'm going to go with Rush. I, I think basically Rush has been staying pretty well together on this team, and other than Kalani dropping the ball there um, with missing that, that opportunity to tie it up, they have come back into the series, and it's been a hard-fought battle. I just I think that the, the key player for influence has been Plutonium, and I really feel that none of the guys have – stepped into the role that he's kind of fulfilling for this game so far. So I see Rush coming in and, and as a collective group winning it on Search and Destroy High Rise. And although Demolition and Search and Destroy have similar qualities, they are very different in play style. I mean, you're talking one life compared to as many as you want and it's just very different type. But they play High Rise really well. So that's what I'm interested to see what they can do on High Rise again. Because they were, you know, Rush was just dominant on Demolition High Rise. Yeah, Rush completely owned High Rise. I mean, there's no doubt about that and that demolition. So I think they're comfortable on that map. That's pretty much why I'm picking them here. They seem like they flowed right there on that on that High Rise route. And you're going you with know, Rush. I, I just think they're. I'm going with Rush on this one. Bandwagon. You know, That's because I'm. I don't know, man. I, yeah, you I'm, I'm just pick an influence. Oh, they're gonna win this game too. Counting them out when they were up 3-0 and search and destroy <laughs> on that influence. Just jumping ships yeah. now in game five. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Call it like really? I see it. All right. Well, shoot, man. Now, tell me a little bit about Search and, high, search and Destroy High Rise, and how does it how's that different than Demolition High Rise? Uh, well, search is going to be all about position on this map. You really, really have to get out and get some good position. You can't leave your whole team in the spawn. If a team is kind of skittish and they don't want to move around, you're going to see that they leave two or three guys in the spawn, and that's not a good idea. You might want to leave one guy back there as insurance or somebody who can maybe fire across down the range across the map and maybe pick off a kill but you really really need to break out make sure you don't get grenaded make sure you don't get spotted and just get yourself into a good position on defense on the offensive side you know there a rush is a good idea on this map if you can execute it right and if not you want to just take it nice and easy and, and pick off the other team but it's all about position so game five we've got a, a pluto's hosting so well, the reason that you're getting to spend a little bit more quality time with Hasher and myself is we're waiting for the host to get set up and all of that. Tox has decided to go top. Um, do you feel that's a good choice to go top team? Influence going top on uh, search, and destroy, search and Destroy High Rise. Yeah, sure, why not? You know, sure, it, why to not? Me, to me on this map, you know, it really, it, it's not a matter of, um, you know, taking offense or defense. I think, I think defense is usually the way you want to go, but, uh, to be honest, there are some offensive rushes on this map that are really effective. And the defensive team, you really force them to break out fast. And you can pick them off pretty quickly if you if you do a nice little rush on offense. All right, so we've got game five up here. If it came down to another game five, who who right now has got your MVP kind of like leading the way right now? Are you going with Pluto? Um, Kalani seemed to have dropped the ball last game, so I don't think uh, you could go with him. Or are you going with Jigga, yeah. Nightmare? Who are you looking at right now? You know, it's a really tough choice right now. If if Influence pulls this off, I'd have to go with Pluto. Uh, for Rush, I'd probably give it to Jigga at this point right now. He seems to have done a lot for his team, especially in that demolition where he pushed up on the spawn and pretty much cleared the way for his team to get the bombs down. Yeah, he, that's a good, good call. I guess you're right. I will give you credit there. He, he was absolutely fundamental in the win in that demolition when he pushed up on B there and was just slaying cats left and right. So yep. I guess I give it to you in there, but you know, you know who I I liked. Um, 
I really was liking Reppin. Reppin was doing well. Even when we were listening in on Rush, I liked the communication lines. He was calling out everybody. And although we're not going to do any listen-in because it's search and destroy, Reppin, I love a cat that on my team that is just going to call out everything he sees and make sure the, the great thing about his communication lines, too, was he was double-checking to make sure these guys were taken out where he would be like, Jiggy, did you get this guy? Or, or uh, you know, as far as nightmares, you get him and, and touch him base with all the guys. So I really like that about him. Yeah, well, uh, you know, as we kick this off, let's see what Reppin can do. I, you know, it's going to be really interesting to to see what we we have going here on Game Five. It's going to be intense. I don't know. Let's see what see what happens here. So we're gonna we're gonna kick it off since I, I guess we will go with influence. They did win Game Four to put them in a Game Five. So they're our top team. They're playing as the Spetsnaz right now. Um, so I think we should kick it off with them. And since we did talk about the highlight player for influence so far being Plutonium. It is only right to start off with his wonderful um 45 FMJ marathon stopping power as uh, he didn't grab the bomb. Sometimes he grabs the bomb. He really likes to slay, though. And the one thing, I was talking to Plutonium before the match, had a, had a nice conversation with him. He, he likes to roam, man. He's the leader of this team. He touches base with everybody. He's got great communication lines. But my dude just likes to kind of go on his own little missions here within the maps. Um, so we'll see what he can do here. He's hanging close with Cos right now, which has the bomb, and they're laying low underneath the red, uh, not wanting to pop out too quickly, too fast here. Again, guys, it's search and destroy. You only have one life. You've got a couple options here. You can either plant the bomb on offense, with a seven and a half second time to plant the bomb. On the flip side, if you're on defense, it is seven and a half seconds to fuse the bomb once it is planted. You can go that route, or you can go the other route of eliminating all the players on the team. In any situation, if you're able to eliminate the other team, that will give you a round point win. The first of four wins the series, and this is a huge game right now. We are in the Modern Warfare 2 Online Pro Circuit Live Tournament by PlayStation 3. They are playing for right now the championship. This is the winner's finals right now. The losing team is going to get kicked down, and they're going to either play the winner uh, tonight of either Dominance or Next Threat. And everybody out there that's watching, they, we got to see both of these teams on our stream, and they are a, they're a dominant team, both of them. So whoever uh, gets down to this, knocks down to the loser's bracket, is going to be a very difficult match for them to try to get back into the championship bracket, Astro. And Nutation takes out Nightmare, and that is a round win for Influence right away there. Interesting stuff. I like what they got going on there. Mutation just firing down shots there. Nice as we see the kill camp. Bring Mutation Plutonium were all left alive for Influence as they were able to eliminate the entire team. So kicking it off right now. Let's watch a little Mutation action as he gets a pre-fire shot on Jiga. Nice with the FAMAS red dot. Going long range. That was a yeah, nice he was, shot. He was able to get a pre-fire shot off. He got a good spawn for that. If you get that really close spawn to the window, it's it's a good idea if you have a FAMAS already pulled out to go ahead and fire a few shots down range into the other team's spawn, and he was able to pick up a quick kill right there. Looks that like... Nice. Yeah, looks like Reppin and Kalani are left over there. On the ranger side, mutation caused the plutonium for influence, and yeah, we, three, we were going on the rush bandwagon here. But influence has got a, a commanding lead right now, 1-0, and it looks like they might get that 2-0 here um, with a 3v2 situation. Reppin's gonna have to come up big, and it's time for Kalani to do his part as Reppin gets taken out by Kaz. Kalani's a lone soldier. We got mutation moving up around the back. And we got Cause staying close in the office, keeping an eye on B and Plutonium sitting right on top of A. They are set up in good positions right now, and it's going to just make it that much more difficult for Kalani to pick it up. And I don't know what he's going to do. He does, he does not have the bomb right now. It looks as if bomb seems to be closer to A here, um, and he is moving in. Kalani right now is moving in through green, trying to come up to B, so we'll see what happens here as time dwindles down on the clock. I don't know, Astro. Yeah, it looks like Influence kind of has this on lockdown right now. They're not going to make any quick moves or do anything that's going to cause them. Looks like Mutation spotted Kalani over here in the shack. Kalani takes out Mutation, though. Plutonium is over here in a crazy spot. Yeah, Plutonium is all the way up there. He's trying to get that scout spot. He sees him all the way over in that B hut over there. And I think he's just going to wait for him to come out and make a move. Plutonium's got in his sight. Why are you not shooting Plutonium? He's right there. Put a shot on him. He chooses not to. 
Because I think, I don't know what's going on there. He's, call, he's just calling it out to his teammate right now. No rush. Uh, come on, he's man. Mate, you you got the shot. Take the shot. Take the shot. Be a hero. Go up 2-0. Oh. Yeah, there it Good is. Patience. Good patience. You know that's something I don't have on search. Right, don't yeah, he, that was great patience <laughs> on his part. It was, that was really well played, actually. I mean, he could have he could have pulled off that shot probably, but you know, you at that kind of range with the ACR, it's probably the best idea to wait till he gets a little closer or force him to make the plant. Really good play by Plutonium right there, making his case for MVP. So influence, they're trying to say we want this all, and they're trying to win it here in the winners' final. They're taking a 2-0 lead, but remember. They went up on game two, 3 0. Hasha called them to win the game. They did not. Rush came back to win it. So, as long as they're able to make a little bit of a correction for that mistake last time on game two, they could close it out here. Splutonio gets a nice shot on Reppin. Reppin's been key to, in, or is key to Rush so far's success. So, picking him out just gets you that much closer to getting a round three win as Plutonium takes out Jigga Nightmare, takes out Brink, but gets followed up by shots on mutation. And all of a sudden, it is a 3v1 situation with Kalani left by himself and influence is coming out the gates hot. Asher, you should have stayed with your original pick now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, eating my words again, but hey, remember what happened <laughs> when they, they were down 3 nothing in that last know, search? I fight, I fight now, huh? Don't call it yet, was, yep, it's not I, over yet. Those early but search and destroy I, games getting called might get us both in trouble, I man. I must say, though, that influence is looking great right now. Plutonium was doing a really great job, and so is Mutation. Mutation just backed him up right there. This really game's nice coming process. down to who, who wants the championship the most? Who wants to get in this game? Who wants to be the number one team, the pro, the best pro team on PlayStation 3 for Modern Warfare 2? I mean, this is the only place you can be a pro. This is where the pros play. This is where it's at. And they are making quite the stand right now with a 3-0 lead like they did on game two. Let's see if they're able to close the gap here with two minutes and 20 seconds left. If they're able to get a 4-0 win in advance, to the winner's championship game. We'll see what goes on here. Mutation, I got him on the player camera. They're getting a little bit, you know, more anxious to move in. At least Cause is gonna stay back, make sure no one pulls a flank on him, come from behind. Nightmare gets a good kill on Mutation with the ump. Brink watching by the elevator, keeping an eye on A. Cause continuing to stay in the back, and we've got Plutonium making an advance on the side outside of green in that lower part here. See if he can pop up, take out anybody by surprise. He does, he sees Kalani takes him out behind with the, well, I think it was the PP2000. Love that gun as a secondary gun, guys. I strongly suggest using it. One of my personal favorites. As you can see, Wawa Brink follows up with a FAMAS shot on Jigga. So Influence has got three men left, and Reppin and Nightmare are left for Rush. They've been fairly ineffective all night as far as, I'm sorry, in the Search and Destroy game, as Nightmare is the only one that's got more than one kill for his team. Jigga, their leader, 0-4, he has just been unable to get the gears rolling in the search and destroy game and now Brink, Kaz, and Plutonium are going to play this one slow and they are on defense the place you want to be and uh, to get your fourth win here I mean could it be any easier to get your four round win here and we'll see what happens with a minute left on the clock they got to do something yeah this is a tough situation being down three nothing right now looks like influence is really going to tighten up right here and up oh. Nightmare just goes, gets taken out by Cause. So it's a 3v1 situation right now. It's not looking very good for Rush. We'll see what they can pull off. Um, looks like Reppin, he gets cleaned up. And I'll there you, you have it. Cause takes out Reppin to win it. As we saw the player camera right here, let's show it out. Takes him out of bottom red as he was trying to cook either a grenade or something going on there. Cause comes up with a huge kill, and that huge kill takes them into the winner's finals. We're going to Cut to a quick commercial break. We will be back, Castro and I, in the booth to wrap up the post-game show, talk to everything you're going to want to know. We'll go through some stuff with Hasho and I, talk about the MVP. So don't go anywhere after this quick commercial break.